Hi everyone, my name is Grant Gallagher and I'm an engineer at Palantir, a technology company. We are proud to partner with Surf Air Mobility to build out a data, architecture, and operating system. We are especially excited to show today the Aircraft as a Service platform, also known as ACAS. We are hoping to develop with Surf, a suite of software that Surf Air plans to make available to light aircraft operators across the country for both conventional internal combustion and electrified aircraft. Please note, the ACAS platform has not yet been developed. My discussion today is based on our most recent design plans for ACAS, which could materially change by the time Surfair launches this platform. The ACAS platform is being designed to bring the technology developed for commercial airlines and put it into the hands of the Part 135 operators. Today, we believe that many light aircraft operators run their airline using tools that we see as outdated, such as spreadsheets, phone calls, these require manual effort to maintain, they're prone to human error, and in some instances, they may prevent operators from growing faster. We believe that ACAS will catapult operators forward in the technology race by managing their entire airline with tools powered by cutting edge technology. We would like to demonstrate how we plan for ACAS to work by looking at a few workflows for a fictional light aircraft operator, going through some scenarios that they might encounter. Our example is XYZ Limited Aircraft. All of these workflows will be accessible from the ACAS homepage, which we hope will provide a 360 degree view of their airline. We'll start from the perspective of a network planner who is looking for new routes to service. Then we'll move to a procurement specialist who's looking for new aircraft lease. Next, we'll see how a technical operations manager can identify and select upgrades for powertrains across their fleet. And finally, we'll see how the operations director can manage changes to the flight schedule. We plan for the network planning tools to enable a network planner to analyze demographics, existing fleet, and network to perform their job more effectively. For this demo, I'll be taking the role of a network planner who wants to know which routes make the most sense to add to the network. XYZ is primarily an LA basin and Mountain West operator. And let's say they're interested in expanding up the coast, in this case to Portland, Oregon. What I'll be able to see once I submit my network query is my existing network in black, and in green, the recommended routes, selected based upon different information like market factors, potential profitability, upcoming demand spikes, and proximity to existing operational bases. Clicking into an existing route allows me to observe critical information about existing performance, such as load factor, revenue generated, and market share, based upon an aggregation of anonymized data from other operators in the ACAS network. Clicking into a recommended route will provide visualizations on why we recommend this route and allow me to investigate further. Within a given metropolitan area, we can identify the optimal airport based on zip code level analytics of demographics, such as median household income, real estate values, and more. This can allow our algorithms to pinpoint which airports in a larger metropolitan area are optimal for a route. Once I decide that a new route is desirable, I next need to figure out which aircraft will be able to operate that route. If I don't already have an aircraft available, then I'll need to acquire a new aircraft, which leads us to our second workflow. The leasing center is being designed to enable operators to leverage AI recommendations to expand their business through aircraft leasing and revenue guaranteed flight agreements with Surfair. As a procurement specialist, I am tasked with leasing an aircraft to serve the new Reno to Portland route that we just selected in the previous workflow. If I know exactly what I'm looking for, I could enter my search criteria manually into these search boxes, but maybe I don't know which criteria I want to filter on. So in this case, I can ask the AI system we plan to build an ACAS, what is the best aircraft recommended for my operations if I want to start flying the Reno to Portland route? There is a lot going on behind the scenes to get this query to return a useful result. ACAS first has to bundle all the data representing my airline together, including aircraft, flight schedules, available crew, and then situational details, such as distance between the origin and destination cities, and of course, the free text query I just entered on my keyboard. This payload is shipped with a request to a large language model. The answer I get back is a list of recommended aircraft models, along with the reasoning for why those models are a good fit for me. This is one of the dramatic technological breakthroughs delivered by ACAS.
the ability to run large language models against an operator's internal data. Following the recommendation provided by the AI assistant, I can select to advance using one of those models, and I'm now able to view all the available aircraft that correlate to that given aircraft type. Next, I can view the configuration for the selected aircraft model to confirm this is which model I want. Then, I can simulate financials and lock in a specified number of pre-booked hours to help me determine revenue and evaluate whether it's a sound financial decision. Finally, I can add in additional required information for the lease, like insurance, an air operator certificate, and submit it. The goal is to make the aircraft leasing process more efficient and faster. In addition to leasing new aircraft, we may also want to upgrade our existing fleet. As a technical operations manager, I can take advantage of an option Surfair plans to offer to upgrade older aircraft with electric or hybrid electric powertrains. We believe that this will allow me to lower fuel costs and maintenance costs, as well as to attract ecologically conscious travelers. ACAS is being designed to allow me, as a technical operations manager, to simulate options and understand their impact on the bottom line and on my carbon emissions. This simulation is calculated using factors such as utilization, load factor, and average flight hours. And what you're seeing me now is me selecting two individual aircraft and one powertrain option and simulating that decision. We can see that we've got a payback period of 24 months, a expected revenue of $1.8 million, and the break-even date is in August of next year. We believe that this makes a straightforward business case for why this investment is expected to lead to higher profits and less pollution. Finally, let's turn to the role of the operations director, who would need to manage the flight schedule in real time. Critically, I need to adjust the schedule based on unforeseen events such as bad weather or an equipment malfunction. If I make changes to the flight schedule, I want to reduce the impact on passenger itineraries, crew shifts, and plan maintenance. In the real-time operations tool, each row corresponds to an aircraft, and each flight is visualized as a puck, colored based upon flight statuses. Let's say I've just gotten bad news and an aircraft needs unexpected maintenance. I can go to today's schedule to reassign that aircraft, where I can drag that flight assignment onto a different aircraft. It's a hard decision to make because that reassignment is going to affect passengers, crew, and maintenance. And it's hard for me to minimize those disruptions. A better solution is to ask for a recommendation from our AI assistant. We can simply type in, find flight 186626 and reassign it to a different optimal aircraft. After some calculations, the real-time flight ops tool will allow me to preview the recommended schedule change and analyze for correctness. If the first recommendation leads to a warning, I can prompt it to recommend a better solution, which in this case includes swapping another flight to ensure that the aircraft departs from the correct airport. I can take the AI's final recommendation here and manually move the change. And then once I'm satisfied with the new schedule, I'll review the changes, add some comments, and then I can commit those changes in a version control-based system, after which I'll be presented with my updated schedule. To conclude, we've seen in this hypothetical situation how an operator could use the ACAS platform to identify new routes, find new aircraft to lease, upgrade their powertrains, and manage their flight operations. This platform is being designed to include many other tools that we didn't have time to show today, including financial tools, maintenance tools, and intelligent alerting. Palantir is excited to partner with Surfair to work towards Surfair's goal of bringing the ACAS platform to market. Thank you.